KCPS. We're excited because it's an opportunity to provide assurances that our students uh, get a breakfast in the morning. Uh, we know that things happen, it results in some of our students not being able to eat and it sets the tone for a pretty off-balance day and so we, we wanted to make sure that uh, with this grant that we could try this in 25 of our 35 schools um, we're, we're, we're doing breakfast in the classroom and uh, just excited about the results that we're getting so far. So a couple of things uh, that I, I want to give a couple of acknowledgments um, before I offer my remarks. Uh, Ms. Linda Quinley, she's our Chief Financial Operations Officer, uh, came to my office one day and told me we have a young man uh, in uh, Mr. Jordan Gordon what I can tell you is that he's done an absolute phenomenal job putting systems in place, creating a level of, of, of just care and expectation that exceeds what I even thought he could do. One thing that we've learned through this process is that uh, there's a direct correlation with students who eat breakfast and have access to breakfast in their academic achievement. So breakfast for us is, is really the, the right start to every student's day to ensure that they're, they're ready and alert to begin the learning process throughout the day. Before we made it to any schools, this was a, a year, about a year and a half process of planning, research, and partnerships with external and internal um, uh, partners throughout the district and the community. As of today, we are down to less than three students a day who have health re or hunger related referrals to the nurse's office, which keeps them in the classroom and focused on learning. We also have reduced our tardies to less than five to seven per day on an average. So the students are coming more, free, more on time, more promptly, staying in the classroom, focused on their own learning, which increases their time on task and their engagement in learning, which then ultimately empowers them as they move forward in their future. I foresee this program being a very sustainable model of Kent City Public Schools. What I am hopeful and optimistic about is that we'll be able to spread this district-wide, not to just the grant-eligible sites, but also the um, all, all schools within the KCPS boundaries.